And all right, this is my place. Um, living rooms to the right, kitchens to the left, and down the hall is the bathroom. Um, make yourself at home. Uh, I'm gonna go, you know, uh, reattach the, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, no, 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 I, I got this. It's not a pretty sight to see, so best just, uh, 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 uh yes, I know I did say that you can help out, but now that we're here, and thinking about it, I don't know, I have more going on here than just this. Um, uh, y y yeah, yes, like other parts that, um, <clears throat> had to be reattached, and, um, some other particular, um, <laughs> scars that have been post-mortem. Um, actually, I shouldn't mention that. I should go, but I'll be back. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Just it took a bit longer than expected, but uh, I'm almost done. But no, 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 it's okay. I'll be fine. Just need another second. Gosh. Uh, hey! Um, <laughs> it, it, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. See, I, I got it back on. Just, uh... It's just harder to reach the back of my arm. I, I tripped on the table trying to get a better angle, but I swear I have everything under control. Um. Uh. It, it, hey. You, you don't have to get so close. Um. Huh? The discoloration. Oh, no. It, it just goes green a bit. Because of the bruising. It's, um... It, it's why it looks like that. Um, uh, my what? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't recommend touching me just yet. Uh, I need to cover this up first and decontaminate myself before your curiosity gets the better of you. Uh, uh, you really want to help. Fine. Here, put some gloves on first. Hmm? Yeah, needle and thread is there. <sighs> hmm? Oh, the one on my stomach? Uh, I can patch that up after this. The arm was more urgent, and besides, I don't bleed as much. A lot of it's congealed after the transformation, and, uh, just kind of stays there. Hmm? Oh, uh, how long have I been... this? Um... About ten years. I was, um... I was walking home from work when, uh pipe blew, and a whole bunch of this yellow gas came out, covering everything in this strange powder-like substance. Me and several others inhaled the stuff, and we all started suffocating, and soon we all blacked out. When I came to, I could hear people yelling. Couldn't make out exactly what they were saying, but next thing I knew, I see two headlights before I black out again. Yep. That was the car accident. <laughs> so, um... That gas. It infected our genetics. Made it so that we go ravenous and start consuming anything with a pulse. 
the people who didn't get infected were getting eaten by um, them. And the jeep swerved out of the way when one of them ran into the middle of the road. They ended up hitting me, setting me flying. My shoulder was ripped off, and so was my foot. And when my head hit the metal sign, it cracked my skull open. <laughs> yeah, not a good day. <sighs> when I came to, again, I was in a box. I knew it was cold, and that my body felt stiff. I started screaming for help, banging on the walls. And when someone finally answered and opened the box, I was rolled out of what was essentially a freezer. I sat up and realized I had nothing but a thin white sheet covering me and a little string with a tag. Yep, it was a morgue. <laughs> you think I was horrified? You should have seen their faces. I mean, I looked down at myself again and saw the scars from what was initially the autopsy. That's when it hit me. I was dead. Technically still am. And all of us were just confused as to what the hell was happening. They sat me down, gave me some robes, and started running some simple tests. See if I had developed some superpower healing or of the sort. But it was none of that. What they did find was that I had developed a weird mutation to the zombie virus that was supposed to take out the city. All the other victims that were infected were captured and the scene was closed off to avoid any further contamination, obviously. But for some reason, out of everybody, I was the only one that still had control of their mind and didn't go feral. Well, that was until I got hungry and started eating raw beef like I haven't eaten in days. Which technically was true. They later found out that I do have cravings for essentially flesh. But it's mainly because the virus demands it. What? Oh, well, of course it includes brains. It's part of the body, ain't it? I'm joking. I, no, we, we, we don't have to. I, I mean, I can, but I, I don't want to? Kind of? But anyways, the facility that I was at, they had me introduced to some other crazy stuff that for your safety is best I not explain. It helped me feel a little bit better knowing that I wasn't really alone, but in technicality I still am. Well remember, I was the only one with this weird zombie anomaly. Said it had something to do with my genetics, but they're still looking through books to figure out why. <sighs> then a couple years later, they set me up here. Said it was safe as long as I keep my distance and avoid any, um, intimacy and stuff of that nature. Huh? Oh, the date. Um, well, okay, well, in all honesty, I wasn't expecting it to go anywhere. Just, um, I... I just wanted to feel something again. You know, just having friends or such. Or, um, a crush. Hell, even heartbreak. <laughs> Anything that would make me feel human. Uh, again. I'm sorry. I understand if you just want to leave. It's selfish of me. What? You do the same. But isn't that selfish? To go after something like that. A person. Uh, 
Oh well, yeah. I guess that's a pretty human thing to do. But still, I should have known better that this wouldn't go well. And it's not even my fault. Hmm? Oh, you're done. Thanks. Um, can you, uh, pass me the spray there? Yeah, that one. Hmm? Oh. This is a special disinfectant. It neutralizes the virus so that it can't spread. Doctors were thinking of injecting this into my veins. Well, what was left? But a test showed that it would have killed me. Like if you were to drink rubbing alcohol. It doesn't harm you if you use it for cleaning and stuff, but... Take a sip, and that's a trip and a half to the hospital. Alright, that's the last of it. I can do the rest. Hmm? Oh, yeah, I got this. This is not a hard spot. However, doctors are going to be pissed when they find it. Oh, yeah. Um, a doctor and one of the scientists from the agency come to visit every so often, just to check up on me. But don't worry, I won't tell them that I was on a date. Just that we went to go watch a movie with friends, and they bailed, and on the walk back home, you know, we got attacked. Hmm? Oh, yeah, mentioning you is fine. However, if for any reason some officers come to your door and ask about the incident, yeah, just say what I said. We went to go watch a movie. It just happened to be us two. We walked home. We got attacked. Nothing of the sort. I don't know if they'll buy it, but I hope they do. I don't want you to get in trouble or anything. But either way, I'll be the one getting the blame for it. I initiated it, so it'd only be fair if I take the fault. Alright, all done. Alright, I'm gonna go put all this in the wash and give myself a good spray before heading out. Huh? Oh yeah, you can wait for me in the living room. I should have pop in the fridge if you want. Um, I can also order food for us since the restaurant was a bit of a, you know. Do you have any preferences? <laughs> yeah, I did suggest steak. There should be a couple of steaks there.